It's an horrible this morning. First things first, get some straw in this Turn lorry. up in a bit. And my dad's going out in the lorry. Um, so just me and him today. And maybe Ash. Hopefully Ash will turn up. I'd like to see him. Get on the nine meter now. And I'm gonna put some straw in uh, the lorry for my dad. Get that ticked off and then probably start strawing round. Straw in. Get on the straw blower. <laughs> Fingers crossed this goes well. Hey, yo, fellas, how we doing? Good morning. Hello. Shows your teeth then. Shows your teeth then. <laughs> well, the straw blowing started, but so has the wind as well. I can't even blow it like five meters in here. It's going everywhere. It's not so bad now. Now I've got a bit further down the shed. So I'm just doing a bit of straw blowing. Reverse the floor. Put a few revs on so we don't stalk track it. Engage PTO. Get it full blast. A little bit comes out. Engage the floor. A lot of bit comes out. <laughs> MZ getting wet. Business. That's all them nicely bedded up. Yeah, I'll be happy with that. See hot straw blowing past. It's so windy. It's cutting bands from it and I'm pulling them out. Um, she's just here for this morning. Then what are you doing, Em? Uh, oh, exciting? No. no. Mm. Well, What's me neither. Me yeah. neither. Dog out in rain. Oh, lovely. Oh, we're <laughs> just gonna jump on the TM320S because there's a couple of pens that still need feeding. Oh, feeding comes first. It's a bit of a pain with this small bucket. It's only half the size of uh, that one, but that one's brought down at a minute. I think. To strip it down later and uh, see what it is gearbox issue i think later been at least tomorrow so i can't strip it down on my own because somebody needs to hold bolts on inside and i need to hold them on outside so more than two hands needed so let's meal them out in here these guys are looking happy nice and laid down pens letting me in oh pens with a smile on the face back in same pen to give him some fun of me a little treat. Has done letting me in gates now, haven't you? Yep. So she's gonna jump on the other JCB, yep. gonna start a mix for us. Um, uh, that's what you're gonna do, isn't it? Thank you. Crack on! All right, Em. How's mix going? Yeah. Something happened, didn't it? Go on, you can tell them. Somebody left door open. Oh, what that? me my fault idiot Anna <laughs> go on then I'll let you crack on yeah so she's done all the uh, put all the silage in Ash has backed it under the tank for her and put the molasses in and um, now she's just filling the rest up so for them people that said she don't drive she's done a full mix all right isn't she Ash yeah not bad yeah. oh the are still up aren't they <laughs> still on. Roof's still on. <laughs> you gotta watch out. <laughs> there she goes. This side off, well this side, there's like a plate there, then we can get into the motor that's in here and see what's wrong with it. Me, Ash and M are going to just attack this bucket and try and get it undone. Uh, 
and uh, see what's wrong with it. Hop on time lapse because it'll be easier. It's going to take forever to go in the boys. This is taking a lot longer than we expected. Isn't it, Em? You having fun down there? Love it, Green. <laughs> so it's all blocked up with meal um, in here, which is no good. We've got to get that out, and then I can turn this a bit better with the Stilsons. Lovely jubilee. As we've took it to pieces, the, the motor shouldn't come out at this point, but it has done. So there's two light bolts that should hold that in. And that's why we've got oil everywhere because um, by the looks of it, they've sheared actually. The, the bolts that hold the motor to the gearbox have sheared. Oh, great. So it might not be actually as bad as I thought because as long as we can get these sheared bolts out, um, the gearbox is all intact. We just need two bolts. So not as quite as bad as I expected. Three bolts here on the auger itself. Uh, we're taking off and then this will all pull out and we can get to the gearbox. So I'll crack on with that. Business, that should come Having out now. One or two issues getting the insides out of the auger. We haven't had it this bad before. Nearly eating Ash with bar. <laughs> well, I think we've about got it, haven't we, Ash? Nearly. Will it pull out? Ah! Beautiful. That's how to do it, Em. Business. Ash being Emily's chauffeur service. Door to door delivery. Em's off home, she's going out. She's going out. Going out. Going out. We've got fucking things to do. And we got things to do. We we repair men, aren't we, Ash? Yeah, Sunday yeah. jobs. Sunday jobs getting them done. Um so yeah, I'm gonna have his dinner then I think, because I'm starving. Adios for a minute. That's back from moving that straw in the lorry. And now it's my turn to uh go out on a little trip to take some cattle in ah lovely it's all loaded up i'm going to be about an hour now taking these guys down to the slaughterhouse ready for tomorrow morning so yep that's the rest of my sunday ticked off so we're off to take some cattle in gotta go and pay over the toll bridge it's a bit, bit new to us this don't like having to pay to go on roads. No good is it Ash? No good at all. No good. It's a quid and all. 40 pence if you're in a car. Oh let's see if Mister's there. Really no, I don't know how to put it down. and steady in. We got the cows on board. Oh, nice steady stop. Hey, it's alright about the receipt. Thank you. Isn't that supposed to be like one of the worst jobs for suicide rates or something? I mean, at all. <laughs> I don't know. It is. 
That's why I'm always very nice to her. <laughs> Ash, because I'm wondering if Andy might be backed up a bit down here. He's been out for a day around this area. Don't, don't worry, Mick, uh, we'll wash wagon out and we can collect your order on way back. <laughs> <laughs> Adult store. Well, me and Ash have got them unloaded, double teamed washing out, haven't we? Done it in Smashed. quick, fast time. Smashed it. Smashed it. And we're back on the road home now. Nice. Going that far, cut the price of that fuel crackers. We've got to fill the tank up because she's empty. Or near enough. A couple of days ago, I filled it up. Here we go again. It's 3.15, it's got no signs of stopping. There we go. You know that my other bucket's broke. Well, this is broke as well. That should have a piece in there. And that now means that uh, none of the rotors turn uh, or the auger actually or the auger does turn it turns in there but it's not turning any of the rotors so we can't chop any bee two feeding buckets broken down at once which is great um at least we can feed out the meal with the mx but um yeah we ain't going to be able to chop any fodder beat now tomorrow until i get a new part for that which i'm hoping that our local like bearing manufacturer in place will be able to get us one fairly swiftly um, otherwise i'm gonna have to uh, maybe think about using the mx bucket uh, we have got some blades that go into it but usually i'd use that on the little one that we're having to use for the for the meal so yeah it's getting a bit complicated and i need to be able to feed that fodder beat out because we've got a lot of it and knocking them off it and not feeding them it for a few days is not really very good but might be the only only thing that's uh, got to happen. Yeah, hmm, sticky situation. Anyway, better get this all locked up and put away nice and safe. So that's it from us today. Me and Ash, only ones left. Um, M will be here in the morning, Andy too, even Big Mix coming. Um, remember, if you like our stuff, to subscribe. I know I say it every single time, it gets a bit boring, but it really helps small channels like us grow our audience. And also, if you like your comments, it puts it out to more people, supposedly. So if you could do that, that'd be fantastic. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll see you all tomorrow, won't we, when I'm fixing everything. Fantastic. See you later, guys. The ashes off. Look at that beast. Nice.